and good morning this is Abraham Soltum from Jerusalem and today's tutorial is on the angry face um, what's so special about our tutorial today is that we are not creating anything new no symbols will be created here all the symbols were previously created on other face tutorials and today we'll be just reusing them duplicating them resizing them flipping them and uh, in a few clicks you have a brand new expression the angry face um, don't be angry if you miss a tutorial you can always subscribe if you like my tutorial subscribe and subscribe from the website we have sponsors and that increases our traffic it's free all right um, now we are replaced we drag and drop the nose the face base the ear and this is now time to start working on the eyes let's use the normal eye the normal eye has a pupil in the middle of the circle and let's place so the second eye you already know the trick we copy paste in place and flip why are we pasting place to align and then we have identical eye in the opposite position and all we have to do is drag and drop next to the left eye now again the technique is to name the layer lock the layer and add a new layer to keep things organized so we don't get mixed up along the way our symbols layers can accumulate now the eyelids the eyelids we use a sad eyelid that because the line is already straight again if you don't know where these symbols came from we have several tutorials on the website say-web.com and there we show how we, we created these symbols now we have one eyelid copy paste in place let's flip for the opposite counterpart and then we have a eyelid and we can already see that the normal eyes are already beginning to get angry the most important expression element on this face is the eye because the eyelids are facing down he's upset let's lock the layer add a new layer because now we'll be adding a uh, underlid and um, again we're not creating anything we're getting the lid the eyelid we had before let's rotate a bit using the free transform tool and let's place in place the size of it and there we have a underlid now everything you see here the faces the source files are available for free on the website say webcom all you have to do is log in and download we don't charge anything sponsors pay for it and here you go we copy we pasted we flipped and we already have a underlid let's name the layer and lock the layer technique is so simple so sweet and now let's create the with the line tool let's just draw a line for the face for the mouth a little bit inclined always work well to have inclined wait until the curve shows and bend so an angry mouth also important element on the angry face and now you can see there's a dot sticking out there I don't know if resolution is good enough but let's erase the dot small details can make big differences so let's use the zoom tool and erase that little edge that's sticking out see I show you here now it's very easy just click flash identifies automatically press delete and the little edge is gone now we have a perfect face a model angry person and um, thank you very uh, let's see us uh, yes the chin the chin we're not done yet we have to do the chin when a person is angry he face contracts and his face traces shows more and therefore we'll be adding on this face a chin it's also very simple very easy just a single line and again we're gonna rest the pointer on the selection tool until there's a small curve bend a little bit and we have a chin uh, last but not least just to have things complete 
uh, let's give a, a title, a title to our angry face. So um, the font also can be a communication element. We'll be using a comic font, in my case, anime is called anime, anime action. Um, now you can see that's writing in um, face color. So all we have to do is select the title, go to the properties, and select the black color so we have a black title. That's pretty much for today. I thank you very much and bye.